Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your December love reading. Please only take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. If this is your love story, comment below. And if not, you can always check your other zodiac placements for messages you need to hear. Other than that, please remember to like this video, share, and subscribe for future readings. So before we get started, thank you so much to all of you for being here. And thank you to my subscribers and members for your love and support of the channel. Uh, if you want to dive into your own personal love story, you can always book a private reading with me down in the description box below. And I am doing my 50% off sale for the holidays. So all personal readings, including emergency readings, are at half price until December 25th. So if you are wanting one, please get on the list as soon as possible because it does tend to get kind of busy this time of year. So we are going to dive right in, and before we do, just a quick reminder, this is a general love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Crotch Watchers of, so feel free to reverse roles however you see fit, and please only take what resonates with you. So, the first card out is going to be your person's overall energy, the vibe of whoever it is that you are connecting with. So we're starting out with the King of Wands. Oh my goodness. So very powerful, passionate energy, okay? The look on this this king's face is very serious, very solemn. So I do feel that this person could be an earth, or excuse me, a fire sign. My bad, I almost said earth. So maybe they have a mixture of both cancer, earth, and fire. But this person has a lot of fire in them. They have a lot of passion and purpose. And this is someone who pursues their goals feverishly okay this is someone who does not let anyone give them the answer of no they will pursue and they will persevere um and you can see here even in this image it kind of reminds me of Khaleesi from <laughs> from Game of Thrones okay with her dragon just like burning it all down so I feel this person does have a lot of passion in them I feel this person could also be a little bit in their ego okay the King of Wands can tend to be a little bit of an egomaniac sometimes. But um, but yeah, why the King of Wands? Let's clarify this King of Wands. Hmm, the Eight of Cups. So you guys, this person could definitely be going through something right now that is making them want to take control of their life. Okay, the Eight of Cups for me is someone walking away from people, places, and things that don't serve a purpose in their life. Okay, from people who don't give back, from, you know, jobs that aren't treating them well or, you know, that don't have a good morale, leaving behind certain places because it doesn't fit with you and your higher self any longer. But more so, more importantly, someone looking for their Two of Cups. You can see here in this woman's dress there are birds inside of a cage. So I do think this person could be rising up into their power right now because they are tired of being caged in. They're tired of being a part of a situation or even a relationship that isn't working out for them. They desire union, real love, respect, balance, and mutual feelings, okay? And I just saw the 333 three, three on the clock. So I feel this person is also being guided um, <clears throat> by the divine. They're kind of pushing this person to break free from that situation. Uh, yeah, because this could definitely be a divine masculine that you're connecting with. We've got the sun and, you know, they're skipping through the field of flowers and the bees are eating honey off of of her dress, off of her palm. So I do think that this person they want happiness, okay? That's what they desire. They desire prosperity and joy and happiness in their life. They want a happy new beginning here. Um, and so I think that's also a confirmation of like, yes, from spirit, that this person is doing just this, what we discussed. They're rising up in their power um, and they are gonna pursue what it is they really want, breaking free of that feeling of being stuck, okay? So what's going on in this person's mind? What are they thinking about currently? The Three of Pentacles. So this could definitely be a third party energy. It doesn't have to be, but um, it could also involve a situation at work. This person is definitely focused on 
on collaborating with you, coming together with you, teaming up with you, but also this could be them just desiring to build a solid foundation with someone that they can trust, someone that they know has the same ideas in mind, okay, someone that is going to be um, working just as hard as they are on building that foundation, right? So I love how they're sitting here on the mushroom and the caterpillar is like intertwined in her legs. You know, they want a partnership, okay? Something that they can really build upon. Um, you may have even met this person at work for some of you, but why the three of pentacles? Why are they so focused on this energy right now? Two of Wands, yeah, because they know it's time to travel down a new path, something that they've been planning for a while. And I feel this energy of this person connecting with their higher self through this image. She's like looking in a mirror image of herself and they're both entwined together into this tree. So I feel like your person is reaching this level of understanding where they know it's time to branch off. They've already experienced this one road that they've been traveling, but they've been looking forward to this new journey, this new adventure, or again, a passionate and happy new beginning, but they recognize it's up to them to do it. Okay. It's not something that's just going to fall into their lap. That's why they have been planning and, um, and, and being at that crossroads for some time. So I think they recognize or they will be recognizing that in order to build on a true solid foundation um, and, and have a real partnership with you, it's going to be them needing to separate themselves from the past. Okay, so what is in their heart space? How are they currently feeling about you and this connection? Yeah, they've been thinking about it for a long time is what I'm hearing. This is something they've been thinking about for a very long time, Cancer. They've wanted to branch off. They've wanted to go on this new adventure with you. And maybe that's why this image was so so jarring to me, so striking, of her just blowing down this person here with fire from her dragon's mouth. Like, I think this person recognizes that in order to break free, they're going to have to stand up. They're going to have to be powerful and strong and, and take, not take no for an answer. Okay. So in their heart space, we have the seven of pentacles and the queen of swords. So cancer, this person very well recognizes already. Okay. They know in their heart and they have clarity on the fact that they want to see this connection come to fruition. There could be a lot of patience that has been needed and they're also kind of frustrated I feel okay they could be very frustrated because they're sort of caught in a little bit of a web right now and uh, they need to wait and be patient for their their fruit to grow on the seeds that they've planted but again they've got clarity in their heart they know that it's going to require an open and honest conversation possibly with someone else in their life the queen of swords can also be that role of the bitch, okay? Someone who, you know, cuts people out and cuts people off for their own good, right? Someone strong and resilient. So yeah, I think this person in their heart and also Cancer, you could have Libra, Aquarius or Gemini placements. This could also be how they feel about you, how they perceive you. Um, they could see you and feel that you are this type of person who isn't going to tolerate any BS. You're not going to be getting dragged into this web that they've woven in their other life. You're going to be very clear and decisive about what you want to do. This could also be a fear that they have, right? Knowing how strong you are too, how strong minded you are, Cancer. And they know that they can't come to you um, with, again, with their legs and their arms and things still uh, stuck in that web. So I think there's a frustration here that's building within them because they have clarity on who you are and what they want, but they're still sort of stuck a little bit. And this need for patience is driving them mad. Okay. That is what I'm feeling. So what are they going to do? Cancer, what are their likely actions going to be here? Oh gosh. So Cancer, this person is going to watch and wait, all right? This person is coming up with the Page of Swords. So they are observing you, 
They're in a state of observance. They're trying to see what you are doing, how you are acting, if you are with anyone, if you are, you know, going to openly receive them when they want to have this conversation with you, when they tell you about their plans for the future, or if you will turn them away or cut them off and out of your life for good. So I think that that goes back to what I said about their fear, um, which they have a lot to say. This is definitely a card of communication, a messenger card. Um... But I do think that this person is wanting to wait and see what you're up to first, possibly stalking you a little bit, okay? Um, so why the Page of Swords? Why do they feel like they can't come forward yet? The Three of Wands, because there are still ships that need to come in in their life, metaphorically speaking, right? They still have some things that need to be completed in order for them to come in and be stable and ready and in that Four of Wands energy with you. So they have been manifesting this for a long time, not just thinking about it. They've been straight up manifesting this. They have been waiting for something behind the scenes to align so that they can move forward and take action and have these conversations with you cancer but right now they're diligent <clears throat> excuse me right now they're diligently working on this little um rose wreath right and I, as you can see the tree that she's sitting in is completely stripped all of the roses were pulled from the tree already so i think spirit is saying this person is doing everything they can now they need to wait for more roses to grow on the tree so that they can finish what they were working on what they started so there's an element of something that has not yet been completed that your person is working on um, so that they can be stable, so they can be ready for a real solid relationship, okay? So yes, we have the strength card at the bottom of the deck, so I do think your person is trying to be very strong. I love how she's standing on this house of cards. This could be very symbolic for your person's uh, energy outside of this connection. They could be on a very... Um, a very rocky foundation right now. This sort of is giving me tower energy too. We've got all these little flies and bees buzzing around her, but she's standing tall. She's standing proud. Um, and I feel this person is starting to gain more confidence within themselves and have the courage to, to start building something new. Okay. Um, so you guys, when I think of like a house of cards, I think of a false foundation, right? Anything can just come on by and blow that thing over. So I think this person is sort of in a situation like that. That's not very stable. That's very shaky. Um, and that can, you know, I'm hearing like walking on eggshells too. So I think this person could be in a situation where they feel that way, where like any little thing that they do or say could cause like disaster or could cause a fight or cause you know the foundation to fall so this person's trying to be strong in that situation right now while they're planning behind the scenes okay so yeah and look at that we've got the wheel of fortune in the reverse so i feel like right now your person is currently dealing with some some karma right a karmic cycle that needs to come into completion and you can see she's like up on this board and knives are being thrown at her she looks so sad and depressed and these knives are barely missing her wings so I think this person is currently kind of struggling through some some karmic cycles or a karmic situation that they are um, again they need to be strong for this is what I'm feeling so let's move on let's see what let's see what the likely outcome is going to be here based on this energy the nine of wands again going back to the king of wands <coughs> excuse me Sorry, my throat was getting really dry all of a sudden. So going back to the King of Wands, the Nine of Wands is a card of perseverance, okay? Regardless of what dangers may be at hand, regardless of how beaten and bruised and tattered and torn this wounded warrior might be, Cancer, this person is going to continue planning. They're going to continue moving forward and pursuing what they're passionate about, regardless of how long it takes, okay? They're not going to stop. They're going to pursue, Okay, um, now what is this person's challenge? Okay, so we got quite a bit coming out here. Okay, so here's what I'm seeing, you guys. I've got the Emperor. I've got the King of Pentacles. And I've got the Eight of Wands. 
Now the Eight of Wands and the King of Pentacles were both in the reverse. So here's what I'm feeling from this message. Your person's challenge is that they cannot communicate with you the way that they want to. Okay, there's a passion that they feel with you and a connection, something instant. And it's it's like that love at first sight. Okay, as I always say, Cupid sliding that arrow through the booty cheeks. This person knows what it is. The issue is, is that they cannot talk to you the way they want to right now because they still need to find their own stability. Okay, this is that earth energy I was talking about before. I almost said you could be with an earth sign. And then I said, oh no, I'm sorry, fire sign. Here we have that king of pentacles energy. So I think your person could be struggling to gain their own independence, to be financially stable and not just financially, but to be stable within themselves. They don't feel that stable, even though their higher self is here on the on the spread, this emperor card, they know that they have the potential to rise up and be the emperor, someone in complete control, someone who doesn't need to fight for their stability because they've got it like that, okay? So your person's struggle right now is that they cannot come in and speak to you because they still have loose ends to tie up in that other situation. They don't feel stable and secure enough. And uh, again, this could be a divine masculine that you are connecting with, Cancer. We have the sun card and the emperor emperor card popping up in the reading. So that is what I'm seeing. I think your person definitely knows that, um, that they need to rise up and be in this energy here for you before they pursue. So that makes sense as to why their actions are going to be that page of swords for December because they still have work to do. Okay. So, um, anything else you need to see for this person, anything else we need to see? Yeah, the Ace of Swords. So they're they're go they're going to communicate. They're going to gain clarity. They're going to understand exactly how important it is to have an honest and open conversation with you. Um, this could also be like divine intervention in a sense where your person's getting clarity through signs and synchronicities, things becoming very, very crystal in terms of what they need to do. Um, but you know, Cancer, this could also be a part of their challenge with you, I feel. I feel, I feel like that queen of swords was how they felt about you, how they perceived you. So I think this person recognizes that they can't come forward unless they're ready to lay it all on the table and be completely honest about everything. And they're not ready to do that yet. Okay. So <clears throat> bottom of the deck, we have the two of pentacles. So changes still need to be made. Okay. This person is definitely uh, experiencing a lot of challenges right now and struggle as far as maybe finances um, or just things that have been happening, pulling them out of their comfort zone, out of their routine. But this, as you can see, they've got all these little balls and buttons and beads in the air and they're juggling them. So I think this person recognizes what needs to happen. They already know this. They know what they need to do in order to change their situation. The issue is just doing it, getting it done. Okay. So that is what I'm seeing here. You guys, let's pull some cards from your person. Let's find out what they want to say to you. Had one flip over, tuck itself back in. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Attention of others. I'm addicted to the attention of others. I love feeling wanted and needed. I don't feel whole without it. So, you know, you know, maybe this person in their other situation, if they have one, whatever's going on, they're not getting the attention that they deserve. And this could be something that attracts them to you. Okay, Cancer, maybe you are the one who makes them feel wanted, makes them feel desired. And that is why they want to pursue you. They want to be with someone who they don't need to ask for attention from. They don't need to, you know, appear so desperate and needy. I mean, I, I personally hate that. I want, if I'm going to be with somebody, I want that person to give me attention because they want to not because I have to ask them for it or complain or tell them you know you don't pay attention to me whatever like to me that's not a partnership so I think this person is wanting to pursue you because they feel that with you they feel like they don't have to beg they don't have to plead they don't have to go you know days weeks months without feeling appreciated or valued okay um, ooh, we have your mind I get so pissed knowing other people can have you now. Is it toxic? Yeah, I don't care. I want the world to know you're mine. So back to that King of Wands energy. This person feels that sense of um, 
needing to take control over this situation, okay? They understand that they can't pursue you and it pisses them off because they want you to be theirs, okay? Um, what else do we need to see? No one compares. No matter how many people I've met and experiences I have, there's no one that compares to you. And I'm hearing that song by the Scorpions, there's no one like you. Like, they know that it's it's never going to be the same with anyone else. There's a specific energy that they feel with you that they can't ignore. We also have it's on. I see you looking good and moving on. I don't care who you're talking to. I'm better. I will compete for you. Yes, more of that King of Wands energy. Okay, they're not going to take no for an answer, but they're also, they know how you are, Cancer, and they're not just going to come in with that ego, okay? They're going to come in when they're ready to tell you the truth, when they're ready to move into this new phase, they don't want to come into your life while there's other things that still need to be taken care of, okay? Other um, strings that need to be strung, all right? One more. Feeling lost. I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore, and it's easier to just stay in silence. So they could definitely be going through a little period here of you know, again, on their journey, needing to wait for certain things to align, and they're feeling lost without you, without that connection that you share. So, you know, I think sometimes, especially divine masculines, they find it easier for themselves to just be silent, not say anything until they're more sure, okay, of what's really going on. If they feel like they are, um, if they can't do certain things or can't act the way that they want to, they do tend to kind of crawl up in their little shells and isolate. So that is what I'm seeing, you guys. Hopefully this message resonated with someone out there. If it did, please remember to like the video, share, comment, do all of the great things. And if you're wanting to dive into your own personal situation, you can always book a reading with me for 50% off down in the description box below. Other than that, I hope that you enjoy the rest of Sagittarius season. I love you guys and I will see you again very soon. Bye.